Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the fastest smartphones on the market to date. It's a gaming phone made by a company called Red Magic and this one is the Red Magic 6. The reason why we're talking about it is obviously this is the latest that they've released featuring the Snapdragon 888, a faster refresh rate than the display sitting behind me at 165 hertz, and of course some of the craziest fastest specifications you can get on a smartphone. So. Let's not waste any time. This is TK and this is the TK Essentials unboxing and initial impressions of the brand new Red Magic 6. Let's check it out. Like, subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So what I have in front of me is what Red Magic sent me. Of course, the Red Magic 6 is sitting here on the left in its own box. And of course, we also have the updated version, which is the Red Magic Dual Core Cooler. Now, this is a cooling system that actually features two separate fans that will enable us to cool the device even more on top of the included fan that's built into the Red Magic 6. So remember, the Red Magic devices, at least from a gaming standpoint, one of their unique characteristics is the built-in uh, fan that's already actually inside of the phone that passes air from the outside the same way we actually actively or passively cool our uh, CPUs on our PC to be able to give us some better thermals on our smartphone, especially for longer durations. And this year with the Snapdragon 888, we definitely need that. We'll start off with the Red Magic 6. I'll go ahead and put that on the side. We have the phone centered. And of course, we have the design Red Magic. We have this one says Tencent Edition, but the actual ROM that I have running on here is the International ROM. So just keep in mind that even though this looks like it's a Tencent Edition, this is going to be actually representative of what the International model is going to be. Uh, we have a fingerprint sensor that's present beneath the display. Typical, we have obviously the Red Magic logo there. Uh, power, volume rocker up and down. Of course, here we have the game mode. So this is very similar to what we've seen in the past. You turn it on to switch over to the gaming launcher. On the right side, we have a power button. And of course, you can see here, there's the exhaust fans on both the right and the left. And as far as what else comes in the box, it's pretty simple. On here, we have the cable, and that gets us pretty much a USB-C to USB-C cable, of course, in the red and black color. Now, beneath that, we have the charger, and I wanna mention something about the charging experience. The global edition of the Red Magic 6 will come with a 33 watt charger, even though the phone supports all the way up to 66. Now, in the Tencent edition model, it does actually include the 66 watt charger. So that's what this is. This is the 66 watt charger. You are able to purchase this separately, but in the box with the global edition, you're gonna get a 33 watt charger. And then the last thing, of course, we have the warranty card and a small instruction manual. So now let's talk about the actual active cooler. And so what you get in the box here is pretty much the cooler itself and a USB-C to USB-C cable. This actually does have to have power connected directly from your smartphone. It does not have any batteries built in. So the only thing that you need to keep aware of is as long as you just connect this one to the bottom of the actual unit, fits very nicely. And then can, this one will connect to the bottom of your phone. You actually now have an active cooler, which also features the Red Magic logo. But again, those two color, uh, well, there's actually some RGBs in there once we turn that on. And of course, this actually adjusts on the top part as well as on the bottom part to fit your smartphone. And there is an opening here to allow for power buttons. So this is actually very comfortable and it should be able to go over the power button on your smartphone very nicely. And then this is gonna be the entire surface of cooling, the top fan, the bottom fan. And of course, you just place this right at the dead center where most of the heat is generated on your smartphone and it should be basically very nice. And as you can see right there, the material is definitely very different. We don't have any sharp edges. It's basically a very clear, very straight, uh, basically configuration. We get somewhat of an actual lo logo of the Red Magic peasant right there. Uh, we have the Red Magic name there, the RGB logo at the bottom. Uh, of course, this one does say Tencent Edition, but for the most part, the Global Edition is going to be the same. Now, there's going to be two versions of this. There's the Pro and the Standard. This is actually the Standard model. The Pro will have an actually different material for the backing that is also more or better conducive to uh, heat dissipation. So from performance standpoint, the Pro is definitely going to be a lot better. I'll try to see if I can get my hands on one of the Pros, but you can definitely see right there, this device, for the most part, the design is crazy good. And the light hitting it on every single angle, you get all the beautiful reflections. And of course, we have the ability of customizing the RGBs. And now we have a triple camera setup on the back here, which is essentially a 64 megapixel primary shooter, an eight megapixel ultra wide, and a two megapixel, basically a macro lens. As far as the battery itself, we're able to charge the 5,050 milliampere battery with uh, either a 33 watt charger or a 66 watt charger, depending on the version of the phone that you get. The Tencent edition ships with the 66 watt charger. The standard global edition does not, but you're able to pick up the 66 watt charger still. The phone is capable of accepting up to 66 watts of charging speed uh, to that 5,000 milliampere battery. And on the front, we have an eight megapixel front facing camera. Now on the top, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is definitely very nice. One of the microphones for the cameras. 
On the bottom, we have a bottom firing speaker, a USB-C, another microphone, and of course, the dual SIM tray for the dual SIM card options that we have in there. And on the front, of course, we have that large, beautiful 6.8 inch, 1080p, 165 hertz maximum refresh rate with up to 500 hertz touch response rate, which is really, really nice. Now, one thing I didn't mention before when we we're looking at it on the side here is that we still have the two touch capacitive options that we have here. They're called air triggers. And these are actually now rated to run at about 400 hertz touch response. So the response time on these things are definitely much, much nicer. Now, if we're going to use it with the cooler, definitely what you're going to do basically is just clap it on one side, open it up to the other. And once you put that in, of course, you could see right there, let's provide cooling to the center part of the device. One thing to keep in mind is do not put it anywhere further up to block the vents that you have in there. Remember, the Red Magic 6 has built-in fan, uh, built fan already that's been upgraded. So intake is on the right when you're facing the phone and outtake is on the left. So as long as you don't block them, you put the phone directly like this, connect the USB-C to USB-C connector here to be able to get the power to the fans and you're pretty much set to go. Now, after you boot it up, you'll notice that it obviously illuminates the fingerprint sensor. You can put it in there. I've already applied one of the themes that are built in here. This is the Cyberpunk edition one. Uh, the UI element is very, very similar to what we've seen in the past. This is running obviously their latest software and application drawers present right there. This one does come with Google Play services, as you can imagine, runs perfectly the same. One thing to keep in mind is this is running a global ROM, meaning that anything that you're seeing here is what you would see on a standard uh, global edition version of the Red Magic 6. So it just, I have actually happen to have an early production unit from the Tencent edition that they were able to get it uh, working for me. Uh, you'll notice right there on the top uh, left here, I have the 165 hertz refresh rate turned on automatically. Now you have the ability of turning on intelligent fan. Those are the fans that are built into the smartphone. And they actually do start turning on and keeping the device uh, cooled if you want. So you have fast cooling or basically regular cooling. Intelligent is generally the one and you can turn it off from there. Now, when you jump into the gaming center, so all you need to do here is just turn on the switch on the left. That launches the Red Magic gaming system. Now, this turns on the fan automatically by itself. And you're, of course, able to turn on the carousel. You can see the different options that you hear you have. And of course, we can turn on and turn off the RGB light strip. So you'll notice right here on the left, you'll start seeing the colors, the red flashing right there on the top of the right here. And of course, the logo starts turning on. One thing to keep in mind, you're also able to turn off the turbo fan. That's the fan that you were able to hear just a second ago. For cooling, though, this is definitely going to be the option to put in there. Uh, you're able to organize your apps directly by the form like this, or you can even make them into a list. Last but not least, just basically make them into kind of more of a, the background images. So by right now, you're able to even customize it. This is the default one that we have. We can go all the way down to the Red Magic Safe, I think, and that one kind of looks nice. And then we'll just jump back into the carousel. So again, and it does have a little bit of a sound in there. External device library, I'll say just for now. These are the options that you're able to pick up. You're still able to use the Red Magic iStock from before, the brand new True Wireless. You're also able to use the Daofang wireless gaming headsets. Now, the Red Magic Dual Cooler here is the one that we have. Let's go ahead and connect it. And you do need to basically set it up. There is an application made specifically for it. So I'll go ahead and connect it and I'll say connect. So right now it's going to search for it. You select and it'll connect. Now it has a card and we can definitely see right there. Now, first thing you'll notice is that the colors right there, RGB colors are present in there. Both fans will turn on. You are able to customize for certain options. You're able to turn on the fan from regular to fast. Uh, you can switch them. The RGB color right now is colorful. You can go in there and customize the color. And of course, uh, this is the version software. It did have one update for it. Now, again, keep in mind, this is separate from the internal fan. So turbo fan right there that you have turns on this internal fan. This actually is controlled by the ex external accessory. So this is the external device library. And of course you have your normal profile. Now there's no question that this is going to obviously generate sound, but whenever you're gaming, that's going to be something that you're probably not going to pay attention to because all of the audio that you're getting from it, it's going to be coming straight from the gaming experience. Switching over back to the standard launcher, pretty much just switch the switch back and that's how you get into it. Um, other gaming uh, devices on the market that require you to hit a button to open up an app. This is very simple, very easy. Uh, now, again, as I mentioned to you guys, the external app, this is for external devices, you're able to download it. And they do give you the information inside of the, of the box that comes with the cooler. So the model that I have here, again, 6.8 inch, 1080p, up to 165 hertz refresh rate. Uh, we have the Snapdragon 888 powering this. Now, Red Magic OS here is up to version 4 on top of Android 11. Uh, there's going to be multiple models. The Red Magic 6, the standard model is going to be 12, 128. Uh, and of course, that's what we have here. 12 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage. Now, the Pro model is going to go a little bit higher. It's going to go all the way up to 16 gigs of internal uh, RAM and of course, up to 256 gigs of internal storage. Both are going to be LPDDR5 with UFS 3.1. So again, the fastest options you're able to get. 
The difference with the Tencent Edition, again, it will include the 65, 66 watt charger that is in, included in the box. Although the phone can support up to 66, the Global Edition will have a 33 watt charger. So if you want to pick up the 66 one, that'll be slightly different. Uh, you can pick that up yourself. Now, again, we talked about the camera sensors, again, the internal storage, the version of uh, the software Android 11 running here. And this, of course, is the Red Magic 6. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys want to see some benchmarks. So of course, we're going to jump in real quick into the history options that I've done here. And I've run the benchmark in a couple of modes. First mode is just running the benchmark outside of the gaming app and just running it as it's on its own. 1060, 1076 is the maximum we're able to get here. But once you take it into the gaming system, when you switch on the gaming mode in here and add the application, the, the actual benchmarking app, you can definitely see here the performance of the 888, very consistent, uh, you know, 1,112, 1,110, and about 3518 for the multi-core option. Uh, not a big difference overall, but a big boost in the single core performance. Now under the compute, we did the exact same situation. We went from 4605 all the way to 4686 to 4685, again, within the gaming system. So overall, if you're going to run the games or you're gonna play games on this device, uh, make sure that you actually have them added into the gaming center. So you by switching on the option here, it takes you directly into the gaming system that they have. And of course, you're able to actually add games. So you notice right there, there's a plus sign. If it's not present, you can go in there, select it, take it and remove it. You can put it back in. You can customize the RGBs. You can go into your profile here. Again, customize the performance. Uh, turn on Red Magic Time. Allow it here. Of course, these are the screenshots I've done before. Record settings for different games. You can customize them. And we'll say... And of course, net settings, of course, uh, general settings overall for the performance, RGB lights, and you can definitely jump in for every game. And from the game itself, you'll notice right there, they recommend you turning on the turbo fan. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and you can definitely see it right there. Now, from there, we're able to actually turn on a couple of options customizable on the right side. So all you have to do here in the game itself, you could just swipe from the right. It opens up this new menu. Now, I'm going to turn off the turbo fan mostly because of the audio. We're not actually playing the game yet. So game space, automatically you can jump back into it. You can go back. You have a couple of options here that you can customize. So think of them as, as like little toggles. And the first thing we're able to do here is toggle between 60, 90, 120, and 65. Now I have it running at 65 mostly because I want the device to push the fastest refresh rate that it's capable at any game that we're playing. We're able to share information directly into WhatsApp, Telegram, as well as Discord, and of course other applications if you have them installed. Uh, you're able to customize the shoulder triggers that are present there, game enhancement in there, so you select this option. You're able to jump between four different modes. Auto mode, which is the auto settings. It configures everything depending on the automatic settings that they have for the games. GPU performance uh, push, uh, or basically, let's go ahead and cancel here, or we can go to high performance. The super performance is that option where I ran the Geekbench option. I ran it at the highest possible performance, and you can customize it again and save it, and it will save it for every game that you're playing. Now we're able to see how the frequency running on the CPU, the GPU, of course, as well as the actual speed, network speed that's connected to it. Uh, and of course, there's additional options here. So 4D shock, uh, recording if you want to record it, the get controller settings if you have a controller running there, uh, block messages, of course, uh, super snap for screenshots, and of course, frame rate uh, display here. So you can push that in and you can actually see exactly how your phone is performing. So right now, obviously, this is a static image. So the refresh rate will basically be recommend recommended there. This is great if you want to be able to show that whenever you're playing games. Uh, of course, here, Super Snap, Custom, and you can add additional options in there. And then when you're done, just swipe it away and you're ready to play. Now, for today's video, I'm not doing a deep dive into the gaming experience on the Red Magic 6, but I'm going to show you guys a couple of samples. Now, foremost, first and foremost, PUBG, I'm able to go to Ultra HD. I'm also able to go all the way to Ultra. So that's going to give me the highest refresh rate as well as the highest quality of the image. And I went with Colorful. So that's the setting that I decided to go with it there. And of course, we're going to show that there. And we're also going to actually play uh, Call of Duty Mobile. So that's the option here. In the full review, hopefully coming very soon, we're going to have Genshin Impact. We're obviously going to have Shadow Knights. We're going to have Call of Duty Mobile, Geekbench we already kind of covered, and of course, PUBG Mobile. A lot of these options that you're going to see there are very nice. Once you're done, switch the flip, flip the switch, and you're pretty much set. Now, the experience then comes down to the actual display. Again, we have a beautiful 6.8 inch. It's a large display, of course. We do have some uh, chin and forehead and chin here, but that's mostly because we also still have stereo speakers, and they're very, very nice and functional. Before we get to the audio test, real quick, cameras, as I mentioned, the primary shooter on the back is going to be your 64 megapixel shooter. On the front, we have an 8 megapixel shooter, and we also have an ultra wide and a macro in the back. So here, uh, you can basically just go in three, go five, and then go 10, and you're pretty much the experience. We have pro mode, we have camera family. This is just the library of options you have. Uh, zoom blur, macro, clone, time lapse. There's a whole bunch of other options that you have in there as well. And uh, when you go into the video, one thing to keep in mind that there is multiple modes available. Now. First and foremost, we have 4K 60 frames per second, as you can imagine. We have 8K also recording, which is something that we've seen on Red Magic way before any other smartphone we're showing it. 
although they still say here it's recommended for outdoor use. Now we have standard 4K 30, 4K 60, 1080 60, 1080 30, 720p at 30 frames per second. But the really nice thing is when you flip over to the front, by the way, it's primarily 1080. Um, here I am actually set to 4K 60 frames per second, but if I go ahead and turn on stabilization, it doesn't actually drop me from 4K. I'm still running at 4K 60 frames per second for resolution. The only thing that it pretty much does here, so it'll just kind of a point of reference, uh, you could see how the field of view is right now. If I click it, it just ever so slightly crops in to provide us that stabilization. And we can definitely jump in right now for a quick sample from the front facing and the back facing sensor on the brand new Red Magic 6. Starting off with the front facing camera on the brand new Red Magic 6, uh, we have 1080p basically 30 frames per second, not even 60 frames per second. That's going to be the maximum on the front. But when we switch over to the back facing sensor, we actually have some actually pretty decent options all the way up to 8K, 4K 60 and even 4K 60 stabilized footage. Let's go ahead and switch over to there. Now I'm recording at 4K 60 frames per second primarily because I feel like 8K is not really a very functional, uh, I would say resolution to share with people. Uh, large files and of course it's going to just basically be hard for us to transfer content uh, at that resolution. So what you're seeing right now is just a sample from earlier in the day where it was actually a little bit windy, windier than now and of course you can get to see what the quality of the 8K that comes out of the Red Magic 6. Uh, now, we also have 4K 60 frames per second, standard and stabilized. They do basically crop in a little bit on the, se uh, on the sensor, so it's a little bit more punched in. Uh, I would say a little harder to use than what we're using right now, but this should be a good example of the front facing and the back facing sensor, again, for audio and video. Now, as it is typical with all of our audio tests here on the channel, we're going to be playing Alex Grindo Jumbo by NCS Release. If you click the three dots, you obviously have the ability of configuring the option and, of course, turning on mute if you want to do it really quickly. Jack it up. And as you heard right there, the experience is definitely very nice. The audio quality is pretty decent. Uh, we get some bass up there as well. As far as the full review, we're going to include a lot of these gaming experiences when it comes down to actually overall performance. I will tell you this much. In Genshin Impact, I have the maximum settings set to all on everything is on max. So that's going to be the experience we're going to show. But let's not waste any time. Let me show you guys a quick sample of gaming on the brand new Red Magic 6. whistle in 10 seconds. When it comes down to cooling, Red Magic is known for providing some of the best cooling options we can find on the market. That included fan, that one of their iconic uh, looks of their smartphone has been on different generations of smartphones from them. Now, 
This is now augmented with the new option that we get with the new dual fan RGB configured uh, cooler that we are able also to use, which I really like because it actually provides us the additional level of cooling. Now, keep in mind when you're playing games, if you're using the speakers or if you're using the wired headset, you're not really gonna be uh, perturbed or even disturbed with the sound of the fans. We're used to having loud computers whenever we're playing PCs because if we have headsets on, we don't really ever hear that. The overall performance uh, so far looks very promising. We are getting a lot of information, obviously still more. There's more updates being pushed in. I am working towards a full review that's hopefully gonna be coming out very soon for you guys. And what I wanted to do today was kind of like a TK Essentials version of what was that basically quick snippet of the general idea of the Red Magic 6 and what comes with it. Let me know in the comments below which one, well, what games would you like me to focus on in the full review? I kind of showed you guys what I have already installed, but I'm sure there's going to be other options that you guys will be interested in. Like and subscribe, and of course, thank you very much for your support, and thank you to Red Magic for allowing me to check out the Red Magic 6. The full review is going to be going on, of course, all of my channels, both the Arabic, the English, as well as XDA. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you're doing well.